What is up, folks? Welcome to another edition of Billy the Kid's No Bullshit Toy Reviews, and this is actually my 99th figure review. How fucking cool is that? Thank you guys for hanging out with me for 99 toy reviews. That's awesome. I appreciate it. Thank you for the wonderful 2019. And uh, what better to do number 99 than with what I feel is the best figure of 2019. This is the Ocular Max Saltus. Holy shit. All right, we've had a lot of toys out this year, and this one is just fucking incredible. There's one thing that I hate about it, and I'll talk about it, but that one is, I mean, the good far outweighs. So uh, I'm going to get into this real quick with the accessories. He comes with a massive trident. Uh, it's really fucking big, so it's still a cool accessory. He comes with his blaster. He comes with the missile that he loads up into Autobot City during the great battle in the 86 movie. How badass is that? This is his sword, which is obviously also his um, helicopter blades. Alright, simple to transform. Looks really good in hand. He pegs right in just like the other... Uh, normal masterpieces. It pegs right in his hand and he holds it just fine. He comes with multiple faces. He comes with a really awesome stocky stout face. That is my, this is my head, my face that I'm keeping on this figure. He comes with a smiling face. And he comes with a face that's designed like uh, Studio Ox. Really cool face if you ask me. And you know, if you plop this face on, along with the trident, you've got a, uh, whatchamacallit, it's Call of the Primitives. You could, you could make him look like he jumped right out of Call of the Primitives. So really cool options there. Really appreciate that. Uh, the head is on a swivel, so he looks up and down. Full rotation here at the neck. The shoulders are incredible. Okay, so full 360 degrees here. And then you can you can get them up this far, but you also can get that 360 degree motion there as well. You've got a bicep swivel. You've got a double jointed elbow. Hidden inside of both of his wrist gauntlets are the little blasters that he used in the movie, so that's a cool little feature. Rotation at the wrists. The three fingers down below are independent. They all close in, but they're solid. The pointer finger has multiple digits. The thumb is posable as well. So kudos for that awesome design. The hands on this guy are, are fantastic. It's what all masterpiece hands should be like in my opinion. It's just enough. It's just enough to get the job done. You've got a full rotation at the waist. All right, you've got an ab crunch, a really, really, really nice ab crunch. Full Van Dam. Very tight thigh swivels. Kicks back completely. Lift up this panel. And he kicks up only this far. Now this is where my only complaint with this toy lies. Okay, he's heavy. That's die cast metal, right? That's die cast metal. Oh yeah, there's butterf butterfly joints as well. So the, the range of motion for the posability on this toy is just through the fucking roof. Um, the problem is, is there's a lot of weight. Okay, and the knees 
Yes, they're double jointed knees and I appreciate that, but they're on a friction. So it can't support the weight. It's, it's very difficult to get some weight support in there. Um, I almost want to take it apart and see if there's something I can do that'll um, just give it some strength. But we'll see it another time. Die cast feet as well. So the feet pivot, they point down, they point up. Obviously this is from the transformation, but there's a lot of action in these feet. The posability with this figure is absolutely through the roof. He's beautifully done, he's beautifully scaled. I, I, I mean, he is, there's no reason to buy a Takara release of this figure when something this beautiful is available and ready for like 120 bucks. I mean, Jesus Christ, you know, with the way that Takara's been going, it's gonna be $400 for something of this quality. He does come with a tech spec card, but it is in the box. Box art's gorgeous on this guy. And with this tech spec, it's like the old days. So that tech spec reader is very important. You can see his stats. I'm gonna tell you the uh, transformation is fun, easy, it's not a lot of work, but uh, I don't wanna bore you. So he turns into a helicopter, turns into a car. Car mode is okay, helicopter's awesome, but they're not screen accurate. They don't look like they came off the screen the way the robot mode does. The robot mode on this figure is where it shines and that's what I'm gonna focus my review on. Uh, one cool feature is you have these pieces here on the side, but if you want, you can flip them over and uh, connect them right up top straight ways too. So you have options with how you'd want to pose them. Uh, personally, I like them on the side, so that's the way they're going to go. But I mean, this way he looks just like the Siege version. Um, Again, I, I like mine like so, but you do you the way you like to. I got mine from my sponsors at Big Tin Robot Toys and Collectibles. Check them out in the link below. Check out my Patreon. It helps me buy shit I don't need so you can decide if you need it. Do me a favor. Give me a like and subscribe as I would greatly appreciate it. This is Billy the Kid signing off. I will be coming at you with my 100th video review soon.